Hello everyone and welcome to SaaS Guru's YouTube channel, your go-to source for all things Salesforce. The Salesforce Certified Data Cloud Consultant credential signifies a major accomplishment for professionals aiming to specialize in Salesforce's data cloud. This certification validates your comprehensive understanding and expertise in leveraging data cloud to design and implement solutions that meet customer needs. To help you prepare for the exam, and get a sense of the type of questions you might encounter, we've compiled a valuable set of multiple-choice Salesforce Data Cloud Consultant practice questions with answers. These questions are crafted to not only assess your knowledge but also familiarize you with the exam format and the data-centric scenarios you'll likely be required to analyze. So let's get started on your journey to becoming a Salesforce Data Cloud Consultant. When Sun Solar is preparing to activate a target in marketing cloud with a segment created in Salesforce Data Cloud, which two steps are critical in the activation process? Choose two answers. Configure contact points for the activation. Select an activation target and a data model object DMO from activation membership. Sign individual customer IDs manually for each record. Confirm that all attribute names match the marketing cloud naming conventions. The answer is option one and two. Configure contact points for the activation, essential for ensuring the campaign reaches the intended recipients. Configuring contact points like email addresses or mobile numbers is crucial. This step directly affects the campaign's ability to engage with the target audience effectively. Select an activation target and a data model object DMO from activation membership. This step ensures the segment data is properly structured and aligned with the targeted marketing cloud environment, facilitating accurate and efficient data transfer and segmentation. At AutoCar, a consultant reviewing the Salesforce Data Cloud's identity resolution outcomes observes that the consolidation rate CR is not meeting the anticipated benchmarks for integrating customer data. The CR, indicating the proportion of source profiles merged into unified profiles, is determined by the formula CR equals 1 minus number of unified individuals number of source individuals. With a goal to refine this metric for optimal data management in the automotive sector, which configuration adjustment should be implemented to elevate the consolidation rate. Reduce the number of attributes in matching rules. Modify reconciliation rules to last updated. Increase the number of matching rules. Reduce the number of matching rules. The answer is option three. This is the most effective strategy to enhance the consolidation rate within Salesforce Data Cloud's identity resolution framework. By adding more matching rules, the system is equipped with a broader set of criteria to identify and merge similar profiles, leading to a higher consolidation of source profiles into unified profiles. This increases the CR by decreasing the ratio of unified to source individuals, which is in line with the desired outcome when the consolidation rate is lower than expected. For AutoCar, applying more matching rules can capture a wider range of customer data nuances, improving the consolidation of customer identities for more accurate and effective data analysis. A customer has established a connection from Salesforce Data Cloud to an Amazon S3 cloud file storage bucket for data activation, yet the connection fails persistently. What piece of information should the consultant examine is likely incorrect to address the connection issue? The configuration of the S3 bucket policy. The S3 private key certificate details. The S3 access key and secret key. The IAM role permissions assigned for access. The answer is option three. For Amazon S3 connections, the access key ID and secret access key are crucial for authentication. A common cause for connection failures is incorrect or expired access key and secret key information. Verifying and ensuring the accuracy of these keys is essential for troubleshooting and resolving the connection issue, as they are the primary credentials used for authenticating access to S3 resources. When creating a data stream in Data Cloud for an Amazon S3 source, it's essential to provide accurate S3 bucket details, including the bucket name, access key, secret key, file type, directory, and file name. The S3 access key and secret key should be carefully reviewed for correctness as they are fundamental to the authentication process. 
Wildcards and file names can be used to specify the files to be retrieved, offering flexibility in managing data imports. To ensure smooth operation of activations with the latest data in Salesforce Data Cloud, what is the correct sequence of activities a consultant should verify is in place? Data ingestion completes, data transformations are applied, calculated insights are updated, segments are refreshed. Segments are refreshed, calculated insights are updated, data transformations are applied, data ingestion begins. Calculated insights are updated, segments are refreshed, data ingestion begins, data transformations are applied. Data transformations are applied, data ingestion begins, segments are refreshed, calculated insights are updated. The answer is option one. The sequence starts with data ingestion completing, ensuring all new and updated data is brought into the system. Next, data transformations are applied to standardize, clean or enrich the ingested data, making it ready for analysis and insight generation. Following transformations, calculated insights are updated to reflect the most recent data. These insights can involve analytics or aggregations critical for understanding customer behavior or trends. Finally, segments are refreshed with the latest insights and transformed data, ensuring that activations are based on the most accurate and current information. SunSolar is looking to leverage its marketing cloud data, specifically from cloud page interactions, within Salesforce Data Cloud to refine its solar product marketing strategies. Given the unique nature of Cloud Page as an engagement channel, which approach would be necessary for incorporating this data into Data Cloud? Direct integration. Use of standard connectors. Custom integration. Manual data entry. The answer is option three. For cloud page data from Marketing Cloud, a custom integration is required to ingest this information into Data Cloud. Unlike more standard engagement channels such as email, SMS, and mobile push, cloud page interactions might involve a more complex set of user engagements and data types that are not directly supported by the existing connectors in Data Cloud. Therefore, Sun Solar would need to implement a custom solution to ensure that data generated through cloud pages is accurately captured, transformed, and integrated into Data Cloud for comprehensive analysis and targeted marketing efforts. During the setup of a new data stream in Salesforce Data Cloud for Auto Car, a consultant encounters an issue where the Vehicle Service History custom object from Salesforce CRM is not appearing in the list of available objects for configuration. Understanding the importance of configuring object and field permissions for Salesforce CRM data ingestion into Data Cloud which permission verification should be the consultant's immediate focus to resolve this object visibility problem. Check that the Data Cloud Org is granted object creation permissions. Ensure the vehicle service history object has view all and read permissions enabled in the Salesforce CRM Org. Verify that object modification permissions are enabled in the Data Cloud Org. Confirm the presence of a data ingestion permission for the vehicle service history object in the Salesforce CRM org. The answer is option two. For the vehicle service history custom object to be accessible and ingestible by Salesforce Data Cloud, it is crucial that this specific object is configured with view all and read permissions within the Salesforce CRM environment. These permissions facilitate Data Cloud's access to the object allowing it to be listed and utilized in new data stream configurations. The absence of these permissions can prevent the object from being recognized and processed by Data Cloud, leading to visibility issues during the setup phase. Autocar aims to leverage Salesforce Data Cloud to enhance its marketing and operational strategies. As part of their digital transformation, they are exploring various functionalities that Data Cloud offers. Which two functionalities should Autocar focus on to improve customer engagement and data management? Choose two answers. I'll leverage customer data insights to craft more personalized customer experiences. Implement a unified data governance framework to manage the life cycle of enterprise data. Integrate and standardize data across diverse sources using an adaptable data model. Facilitate real-time data sharing and collaboration across departments. The answer is option one and three. Salesforce Data Cloud enables businesses like Autocar 
to deeply understand their customer data, which is pivotal for driving more relevant and personalized experiences. By analyzing customer behaviors, preferences, and interactions, AutoCar can tailor their marketing and service offerings to meet individual customer needs, enhancing customer satisfaction and loyalty. Data Cloud offers the capability to harmonize data from multiple sources, ensuring consistency across various systems and platforms. For AutoCar, this means being able to consolidate customer information from sales, service, and marketing channels into a unified view. This standardized and extendable data model supports better data analysis, segmentation, and targeting, thereby improving strategic decision-making and operational efficiency. As a consultant at Cosmo Property utilizing Salesforce Data Cloud, you're looking to enhance the segmentation process by enabling value suggestions for fields within your segments. This feature assists in creating more precise and efficient filters by suggesting available values as you type. For which object should you enable this feature to utilize value suggestions during the creation of segment filters? Data Source Object DSO Data Model Object DMO Salesforce Field Segment Attribute The answer is option 2. Data Model Object DMO value suggestions for segmentation filters can be enabled at the level of the Data Model Object DMO in Salesforce Data Cloud. This feature is particularly useful when dealing with text data types, as it allows for the dynamic suggestion of values based on the content ingested into the DMO. By enabling value suggestions in the DMO record home, consultants can streamline the process of creating segment filters by providing a list of potential values to include, thus enhancing the efficiency and accuracy of segmentation efforts. This capability supports up to 500 attributes across the entire org, with suggestions appearing within 24 hours and being retained for 30 days. AutoCar has recently integrated Salesforce Data Cloud to enhance their CRM capabilities and streamline data management processes. The Salesforce CRM connector is set to perform both full and incremental refreshes to ensure data accuracy and timeliness without requiring manual intervention from AutoCar's team. Considering the scheduled refresh patterns and triggers for these refreshes, which scenario would automatically initiate a full refresh of a Salesforce CRM data stream in AutoCar's data cloud environment? Immediately after deploying a new data stream. Every 10 minutes following a full refresh. When updating a formula field value in the data stream. During the next incremental refresh after data deletion. The answer is option one. According to Salesforce Data Cloud's refresh patterns, a full refresh occurs when a new data stream is first deployed. This ensures that all relevant and current data from the Salesforce CRM is accurately reflected in the data cloud from the outset. Additionally, full refreshes are scheduled to occur automatically every other week, resuming the incremental refresh schedule afterward. This initial full refresh is crucial for establishing a baseline of data integrity and consistency within the data cloud environment, making it a necessary step for AutoCar to initiate comprehensive data synchronization. In the dynamic environment of AutoCar, where customer interactions through services and marketing activities frequently update customer information, the Salesforce Data Cloud is leveraged to unify customer profiles effectively. When identical data points, like email addresses, originate from different sources, it's critical to choose a reconciliation rule that ensures the unified profile reflects the most accurate and recent information. Considering the regular updates from customer service and marketing cloud engagements, which reconciliation rule would best suit AutoCar's requirement for maintaining up-to-date unified customer profiles? Data completeness. Most frequent. Source sequence. Last updated. The answer is option four. For AutoCar, the last updated rule is particularly advantageous due to the nature of their data, which sees frequent updates from customer interactions with service and marketing channels. This rule ensures that the value most recently updated is chosen for the unified profile, thereby guaranteeing that the customer's profile remains as current and relevant as possible. It is especially beneficial in environments where customer information changes often, making it essential to have the latest data reflected in customer profiles, 